I think we're moving increasingly to a world in which uh, democracy as a form of organizing uh, societies and free markets, uh, capitalism as a way of organizing the economies uh, is spreading. And uh, so it, once you start to go that route of greater and greater uh, political freedom and uh, accountability of governments and greater openness of markets and economic activity, uh, I think uh, this kind of framing of uh, the principle of free speech, free press that we see in the United States makes more and more sense. Uh, I think even if you do not subscribe to uh, democracy and self-government as a form of organizing the society, Many societies uh, like that, that don't subscribe to that, are, are subscribing to an open economic yeah. marketplace. Mm -hmm. I think inevitably that leads you to a world in which there is greater accountability of governments to citizens, and in which citizens feel uh, freer uh, economically, wealthier, and therefore they want things, they want knowledge, they want information, they want a say in life. I think it changes people in directions that make free speech and free press more salient uh, to them. I think it's also the case that as you move from uh, a mercantile economy based around exports and resources to a more creative economy, a more, um, you know, sort of creating a, a larger middle class and uh, economically advantaged. Uh, society, the more you will be dependent in the world economy on innovation. And the more you are uh, dependent upon innovation, the more you need freedom of mind, freedom of speech, freedom of exchange of ideas. Um, so so the, the forces that are shaping the world, uh, democratization uh, so many places, but, but also uh, open markets and capitalism pushes in this uh, direction, I think. Mm -hmm. So, Lee, um, we are talking about the, the forces that are pushing the globalization of progressive norms. What about um, what we are witnessing at the moment, which is something that uh, we have uh, mentioned earlier, the existence of forces that are acting in, in the opposite uh, way? You know, we are living through a very testing time for uh, for freedom of, of expression. So um, the, the opportunities that the globalization, the, the capitalist, uh, the, the free market economy, the uh, digital um, revolution have brought are somehow um, meeting an obstacle at the moment. How do you, how do you make sense of, of you know, what is not logical? You know, we should be living through a period of increased right. freedom of information, free flow of information. So I think, uh, I think one can say several things about this. I think you're absolutely right that at the very moment we have this greater need for openness and the ability to uh, utilize that openness, we are having this uh, reaction against it at various places around the world. The rise of illiberal democracies, as they're called, or the rise of straight authoritarianism um, and uh, extraordinary uh, censorship and repression. Uh, how does one think about this? Well, I think one thing one can say is that the first may be bringing about the latter. That is, the repression uh, is in part itself based on fear that the openness uh, is a direct challenge to their interests. So in one sense, I'm, I'm not surprised. I mean, I've said before in our discussions that intolerance is natural. Uh, free speech, mm -hmm. counterintuitive, all mm -hmm. of those yeah. themes yeah, yeah, yeah. play out here too. Mm -hmm. So we should expect to see this kind of resistance. Mm -hmm. But the very power of the openness that's happening, 
people's desire for it, the need for it, the ability to have it, is itself uh, bringing about uh, fear in some people and some sectors, governments in particular, who then uh, exercise this. The second thing I'd say is that it's very important, I think, to look at the totality of uh, expression in the world. Uh, we tend to focus on the instances of repression and censorship. This newspaper has experienced this government uh, uh, prosecution of these journalists and, and that's, of course, bad and terrible. But at the same time, tens of thousands, maybe millions of people have suddenly got access, received access uh, through being able to purchase a smartphone or a computer and, and now have access to vast amounts of information and ideas that they didn't have before. And young people engaging in uh, social media as a, a form of uh, dialogue and, and expression. So at the very moment when we have instances of severe repression, we also have a spread of openness uh, and information access that is incredible. Uh, all that said, uh, we have very deep and big challenges. Uh, if you believe in free freedom of expression, if you believe in that, um, as uh, we think of it, uh, I, I think it's hard to avoid the conclusion that it's going to require immense amount of work in order to achieve it uh, under current circumstances. Yeah. Well, Lee, uh, thank you very much for, um, for sharing your thought uh, with us. Um, I'm very grateful, and uh, so are the students. Thank you, Anya, and thank you for doing this. Thank you.